I would like to advise you not to actually blind people around you because the glow is going to be insane. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Deacon. And if you're a returning subscriber, mwah, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in today. Please, if you're not subscribed, definitely make sure that you are subscribed. I always beg that you guys subscribe because you don't want to miss the content that I dish out on this channel. So yeah, without further ado, let us get into today's video. So today we're going to be discussing lotions or I'm going to be recommending lotions for caramel and dark skin tones. And these are my personal recommendations of lotions that I think are good and budget friendly for caramel and dark skin tones. So first lotion on this list would be the one from Nivea. You guys already know how I feel about Nivea lotions. I feel like Nivea carries a lot of great um, body products and their lotions fall in this category. But when it comes to the Nivea line, I do have a couple of lotions that I would like to recommend and the ones that I'll be recommending is the Q10 one. The Q10 line for caramel and dark skin type is very nice and rich. Now when it comes to caramel and dark skin types, you want to make sure that you are constantly properly moisturized because it's easier for darker skin tones to look um, ashy and dry and not look moisturized if you play with your moisturization game. When you are in this skin category, in short, everybody, you would have to just double up on moisture just so your skin can look supple and soft and will be well pampered and treated. The texture for Nivea lotion is usually very rich for the price that they sell them for. The one that I would personally recommend is the one in the blue bottle, except you have oily skin on the body, which I have hardly seen any Anybody really having like oily skin on the body also depending on the weather how cold or um, hot it is then you can go for either the one in the white bottle now the one in the white bottle is for normal skin types and the one in the blue bottle is for dry skin types now I have used the both of them and I would highly recommend the one in the blue bottle because I find that the formula is richer and it lasts longer on the body next one I'll be talking about in the Nivea line is the Nivea nourishing cocoa uh, moisturizing cream or I think the right moisturizing serum on the body but this is basically just a lotion for the body now that lotion works really well for people with caramel skin tones and that is what it was designed for it also has a very nice and supple formula that is not greasy on the body but leaves you moisturized for longer hours especially if you live in a hot region I think this lotion is available especially in African countries that is a good lotion that you can use in just maintaining a supple skin so the next one I also mentioned in the Nivea line is the Nivea natural fairness lotion that is because I have used that lotion and I think that lotion was really really nice on my skin um, that lotion helped in just making my skin look brighter it kept my skin moisturized especially in the hotter months that lotion is definitely one I would recommend tried and trusted especially if you live in a hot area and yeah it works well perfectly absolutely perfectly for the skin but bear in mind that it is lightweight so if you're someone with very dry skin you might want to go for the one I had mentioned earlier so the last lotion in the Nivea line I'm going to mention is the Nivea I think is a deep moisture lotion now that lotion is like my favorite when it comes to like um, Nivea lotions because that lotion lasts long on the body and now when it comes to moisture what keeps your skin looking good and gives your skin that lasting supple and soft look is how long and how much of moisture that your lotion carries so now that lotion is one of the best lotions for me but but um, for me, I think it depends on the fact that um, I live in a place where we experience cold um, weather in some of the months. So yeah, I do use that lotion in the winter months. But if you live in a hot country, this might not be necessary for you or you might not find the lotion appealing. I'm going to put a picture on the screen so you guys see the one that I'm talking about. But yes, that lotion works well for the skin and you would love how it feels on your skin. It's a promise. Now the next brand I want to talk about is the E45 um, brand and that is the E45 moisturizing lotion or cream. So now depending on your skin type, this particular lotion and cream has been designed to deeply moisturize and nourish and care for your skin. If your skin is not extremely dry or dry skin in any way, then the lotion is good enough for you because it has very very good moisturization game but if you have very dry skin then you want to go for the cream instead of the lotion 
because it is thicker in consistency and has a lot more moisturization properties that will last longer on the skin than the lotion does so yeah e45 is a great lotion for the body it will maintain your skin tone it will keep you feeling soft and supple now all these lotions that i'm mentioning here some of them might be really affordable but that doesn't mean they don't do the job sometimes we attribute cheap to not quality enough but that isn't the case sometimes these um, companies that carry affordable things um, do have really really good formulas and this is because these are big companies that can afford to produce this kind of good formulas in a larger quantity and spend less money actually um, producing the formula so don't look down on any lotion that I mentioned here that you think oh might not be good enough because of the price point I'm mentioning lotions that actually actually work for your skin so now the next line of lotion I want to mention is the Dove lotion now I'm going to put one particular one on the screen that I have used I think it's the Dove Nourishing Lotion with um, cucumber and aloe vera. I'm not sure, but I had used it um, a few years ago. I hope it's even still available. And I'm also going to list all of this in the description bar, so definitely check that out. So yeah, the Dove Lotion. Now, Dove also has amazing and impeccable formulas when it comes to lotions. And Dove also carries formulas that are pampering to the skin. So these lotions actually nourish and take care of your skin and they smell really nice. I'm going to list the best two in the description bar as well as leave a picture on the screen. So the one I wanted to mention for the Dove lotion is the Indulgent um, Nourishing or Nourishment Lotion with Shea Butter. That one is very, very moisturizing for the skin. That lotion keeps your skin looking and feeling very nourished and moisturized for longer hours. And the next one I wanted to mention in the Dove category is is the invigorating ritual body lotion that one i think contains avocado and calendula that works well in keeping your skin moisturized for longer hours so yeah definitely check that lotion out it works really well for the skin i had a cosmate in uni that her skin was really really nice but i noticed her skin started becoming nice at a certain point or better at a certain point so i had to ask her like girl what are you using on your skin your skin has been looking so good these days i'm not hyping her skin was looking really beautiful and even from head to toe so I asked her, I had to ask her and then she was kind enough to mention that it was the Dove lotion that she was using at the time um, and that was how I got introduced to Dove lotion I decided to try and that was when I discovered this goodness in lotions now Dove carries a lot of flavors and scents and all of that you can always choose the one that you feel works well for you and just feels right for you so now the next um, brand that I wanted to talk about when it comes to body lotions for caramel and darker skin tone is the Vaseline Coco Radiant Body Lotion. I think that one is is supposed to be like a honorary mention already. That lotion is great for even all skin types. That lotion is beautiful on the skin. The moisture game on that lotion lasts long. I can say I can't say for eight hours, but I can say it will last you the whole day. I don't have much to say for that lotion apart from the fact that even if you're dry skin, your skin is really really dry. It will moisturize your skin and it will not feel greasy, but you will feel moisturized and supple. If you notice on social media, it is the girlies favorite, especially when it comes to like darker skin girls. They love the coco radiant vaseline lotion so it is for good reason because they have found something in that lotion that they want to keep forever so yeah definitely try it out i am not sponsored in this video to say nice things about this lotion at all this is just my honest opinion to you guys so yeah so the next line of lotion i wanted to mention to you guys is the jeggings lotion and you guys know jeggings has been around for a long time it has been nourishing our skin it has been a household brand for a long time it's just one of those lotions that everyone just buys and has a huge bottle at home and they don't really think into but you don't realize how much of a lifesaver that this lotion is to the whole family because everybody from the oldest to the youngest uses this lotion and it just goes so yeah the jeggings lotion will work well for the skin so yeah my favorite three when it comes to jeggings lotion is the soothing aloe body lotion by jeggings i'm going to put a picture on the screen so you guys see the one i'm talking about and the ultra healing um, body lotion from jeggings as well and my top favorite from these three is the softening vanilla lotion by jeggings i'm also going to put a picture on the screen so you guys see what i'm talking about and don't forget that i'm going to list these lotions in the description bar so you can definitely check them out now the next line of lotion i wanted to mention is the avino lotion i'm sure you guys saw that coming you did not 
you should have seen it coming. Avino, just like the jeggings ones I just mentioned, is also a household lotion. That like if people don't have the jeggings one, it is definitely the Avino ones. My personal favorite for Avino lotions is the daily moisturizing lotion that keeps your skin moisturized for 24 hours. That's for all skin type, but if you really have dry skin, the one you should look into should be the Skin Relief Moisturizing Lotion. This is this helps to heal very dry skin. It's even written on the body. I'm going to drop it on the screen so that you see the one that I'm talking about. So these are the two um, Avino body lotions that also work well in keeping your skin moisturized as long as keeping your skin feeling and looking good as well. With lotions, you don't have to do too much, but uh, make sure that you're going for something that actually moisturizes you for longer hours. But there are also other practices that actually gives you a more beautiful skin alongside using your lotions. I will get into part of it as well in this video and other parts in subsequent videos. So definitely make sure that you're subscribed to my channel if you're not and that your notification bell is turned on so that you're notified every single time that I post a video. And yeah, you don't want to miss my content, sis. So yeah, that's it for the Avino lotions. Definitely put that in mind or those two in mind and I always feel like these are lotions that you should have like a big bottle at home either ways in case you run out of your smaller lotions it's always going to be a lifesaver quote me don't quote me now the last lotion I am going to be mentioning in this video and even though it might seem like I kept the best for the last this video is not in any way in any other I'm just mentioning the lotions as I wrote them down the next lotion I wanted to talk about and this is definitely a honorable mention that is not sponsored um, is the Palmer Skin Success. Now, that lotion, I think everyone, I've hardly seen anyone that has used that lotion that didn't like it. I don't think I have. But then, if you're of a contrary opinion, please drop your comments in the comment section. Let's see what you have to say to us. But yeah, I think that lotion is really nice for the skin. The formula as well feels good, but the result on the skin it's lovely. This is an actual lotion that you would use and then you will see the result on your skin, like visibly on your skin. So apart from the fact that you're moisturized, your skin will be looking brighter. When I say brighter, I mean like dull skin would be vibrant. It doesn't mean that your skin would lighten up because I know my caramel and darker skin girls don't like that. So yeah, definitely keep that in mind that it would not change your skin tone, but it will make your original skin tone look good. So look into getting the Palmer Skin um, Success lotion if you're looking for something out there in the market and it's accessible to you pick it up from the shelf i promise you it's worth the coin and come back and drop a comment for us so that we know what you're saying now i'm going to mention just three um body oils that work well for the skin as well for caramel to darker skin girls and this works for all skin types as well but i just wanted to mention it here on this video as well so yeah so if you're a lover of oil first oil that i'm going to mention is going to be the bio oil now bio oil works for clearing scars and keeping your skin soft as well as soft and moisturized I love the formula for bio oil I have run through a couple bottles and if you haven't seen the video where I showed you guys how to actually mix your lotion for caramel skin tones and darker skin tones definitely check that out that is a good way to also make your lotion you know bring it up a little not so black and now when I say mix it up this does not apply to everybody if you do not want to mess with the formula of your lotion and you don't want to do all of those things then you don't have to get into that you can use it directly straight up from the bottle but if you just want to take it a notch up you can check out that video to just see how to mix your lotion to just make it work and look better on your skin just to make it do the job more on your skin so yeah um, bio oil is one that I will always definitely recommend though it does not do like a magical job but it does reduce the appearance of scars and marks significantly now the next oil I also wanted to mention I love this oil so much I hate that I cannot get my hands on it every now and then where I live but I love it if anybody's traveling down to me bring it to me I'm gonna love you for life is the Vaseline cocoa radiant body oil now that body oil is everything I don't know what Vaseline did there but they did something that oil feels so good on the skin and it just it does the job it makes you glow it makes you radiant it does what it says cocoa radiant you have this cocoa looking buttery radiant skin you are gonna love it so yeah I love that one so whenever you're in your beauty supply so definitely pick up the cocoa radiant body oil by Vaseline from the shelf it is lovely the formula is great it's genius it works well on the skin it makes you radiant now um, imagine pairing this cocoa radiant body oil with the Vaseline cocoa radiant body lotion like after you've used your lotion you use the oil I mean come on what do you think is gonna happen you are going to look 
glowy you're going to blind people i've been very loud mouthed in hyping this product but that is because they actually work i want you to go out and actually try it on your skin now the last body oil that i'm going to be mentioning for caramel to darker skin tones is the Palmer's cocoa butter formula skin therapy oil that oil is great on the skin if you have dry skin then the skin therapy oil by palmas might not really work for you i'm going to drop a picture on the screen so you see the one that i'm talking about and why it might not work for drier skin type is because it's like a lightweight oil that is not greasy on the skin but it does work in taking care of scars and marks and all of that so yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed at this point definitely make sure that you're subscribed i'm going to also be dropping a video soon for body scrubs for caramel to darker skin tone and how to actually scrub your skin and also how to make your own very simple scrub apart from the recommendations that i'm going to be making so yeah definitely keep an eye out for that it's coming very soon you can introduce yourself in the comment section so i get to know who's new and i say hi to you thank you so much for tuning in make sure that your notification bell is turned on for subsequent videos and i will see you guys in my next video and as usual i wish you a beautiful supple sumptuous delicious soft <laughs> skin and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah.